Hey guys, today we have this 2006 Mazda 5. We will be replacing this rear camber adjustable one. I'm gonna show you why and how we're gonna do it. And all right, let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys, so first we're going to go ahead and leave the car and we'll show you what's going on with this um, rear wheels on the camber side. All right, first we go ahead and remove these. Let's see what's going on inside. All right, so now we have it remove the wheels. What we're going to be replacing is this rear camber if you look outside here go on top this piece here see that look like a C looks like a C part that's what we're gonna be replacing that's your rear camber that's um, change your wheels going kind of like in and out that way because of that those OEM are not adjustable and this is the adjustable camber we have as you can see they have these nuts here so you can move it in and out over here for the reason that we'll be replacing that with um adjustable one um some cars let's say this is your your wheels so if it's not adjustable, it'll stay that way. But if it's, if there's a forward of the car facing forward, being adjustable, you'll be able to do it this way and this way. If, if OEM factory one is leaning kind of outside the top, outside like that, it will wear your outside tires unevenly. And it is like wavy like this. He just got this the new tires and the um the alignment shop said they need to be replaced that. And this happened also as well as some Honda cars. If it's like sitting in this way, you're gonna be wearing the inside part of your tires. So that's very important. Um supposedly you need, we need to replace both sides. If you're looking back here, this this is the part so it will be even what customer wanted just to replace one side and he insists to replace just one side and i'll show you what the alignment look like and here's the alignment that he has so if you look at the alignment chart this left side is before and after and before and after and this is the top side is the front wheels you haven't done any alignment yet so the top wheels can be adjusted all everything can be adjusted the camber caster and his camber is off on the front side on the left and the right is camber is off as well and here the the rear side is right here Yeah, the toe is off. Toe, I mean, no, that one is a toe is off and toe is off. You haven't been adjusted, but it can be adjusted from the front side. And the rear side is this in the bottom. This bottom is camber and the top, this side is the toe for the rear, rear left. The toe can be adjusted too, so there's no worry about that. It's red, but the camber on the right rear is off and they need to be adjusted and those are not adjustable and with these adjustable ca rear camber you will be able to adjust it and what the customer stated his camber rear camber is within specs on the left side and only the right side is off so he just wanted to replace the right side hopefully it doesn't affect the left side as well but i normally suggest to replace both sides at this point, we're just doing 
the rewrite as customer requests so he doesn't want to spend a lot but this is it it's gonna sit this way and of course you need to get this aligned right after I install it we install it and all right let's get to it um, let me show you how to re um, remove it um, hopefully we don't have to remove anything here it looks like that bolt up here and a bolt on this side and those are size I have here already let me see um, up there one of the bolt will be facing if you let me show you what the bolts look like clearly okay hold on all right when you're facing on the wheels this is gonna be that way this bolt head is in the front side here and the bolt for here in the rear side will be done from the rear so let's go look at it real quick so this one you can remove that this right here that's all we're going to remove and the one up here so look follow that let's go from here i have my um not um my socket all the way up there already let's see right there that's the, the nut right there that one let me remove it let me show you what it look like if you see there i got my socket installed right there right there it's already there so and that's a let me see what size that we have here size 17. so let's remove those two and Hopefully there's nothing else we need to remove. Should be pretty easy. All right, let's start with this here. All right, so before we remove that bolt, let's make sure we put a WD-40. So it'll be easier for us to remove. So we're gonna go here, spray that, spray those both sides. Same thing, the one inside, the one up there. Then we start removing it. All right, so first we're gonna remove this bolt right here. The one like nearest you, size 17. Right after we put the WD-40. Let's go ahead and remove that. There you go. That comes out pretty easy. Just make sure you have plenty of room. out so you can actually just there you go and then that's out already as you can see then we're gonna go right by the top side to remove that other bolt all right for the second bolt it's gonna be hard to see but I'm gonna try to show you where I'm gonna go. Ah, towards the rear side. From here, I'm, I'm going towards in this area here. You will be able to see the bolt on the other end. Let me see, I'll show you here. So from here, you're gonna get an extension and some fuel. So you'll be able to see the bolt right up here. See that? Right over there. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. And then... Let me see. I guess this side. There you go. So you coming from the top. It. Once you have it inserted there, from there, from 
me go ahead. There you go. And then let's go ahead and remove that. Let's try to focus. Grab it, and that thing drop already. There you go. So that's so. This is the OEM is non-adjustable, and this is the adjustable one. So we're gonna go ahead, put it back the same location, and this one, what we're gonna do is. Go ahead, put this bolt here so it's aligned. And we don't know how far we need to do this, but what we're gonna do is just make sure it's aligned there. So we're doing the OEM length like that. Then we can go ahead, tight these two. This must be tight, and then they will just align it. The alignment um, shop will do it for us, and let's put it back the same way so that this back first, then the forward. And of course, this one is on the other side. All right, let's get started with that. All right, so now we have this new rear camber. We're gonna go from the top here, and then can start with the back side as you can see I'm trying to snake it up here and also as you can see from here that's it there that's where it's going to go now let's just start this bolt Please. As you can see, I'm trying to use my left hand to align, to put the bolt in, and then the right hand to align the, the hole for the camber, the top side of the camber. screw it with your head by hand first or you did that let's see and lower it down just a little bit so you can see it better all right I'm gonna start it with my tool with my socket I'm not going to fully tie it, I'm just going to try to just start so it will grab the, the nut on the other side. Move that just a little bit, let's see. That's in already. That is in. Let me show you here. Right there, see that? See that? That's already in. So we're not gonna tie it yet. But we're good on that side. And then let's go ahead and install this on the other end. This one here. And this is going to be the same. Get the bolt, but it's coming from the front side, your right hand. So let's go ahead and push this just a bit. And make sure this bracket is in too, because that's going to be together like that. And let's see if we can use it. Just hand 
Just turn it. If not, you could we could we're gonna use um, a pry bar. Let me show you real quick. Alright, I'm gonna show you my little trick here. So you can see you have to push this in towards in. So I put my ratchet. I mean my my sock my my wrench with the lug nuts here. So you'll be able to hold here better and push that in. All right, we'll see if we can be successful doing this way. All right. Okay. Then make sure you have the bolt ready and this ready. So I'm gonna use my hand, just a leverage for that. There you go. It is going. Once it's in place, right here, let me give it a closer look. Right there. It's working. Make sure it's straight. There you go. Okay. Do another one. Let's do another one. Okay, this is very better. So we put it on top and you're able to push it like that. So it will get to the spot that what we needed. So I'm pushing it and then that's there. Make sure that it doesn't fall. We get this. That's it guys. That's in, we are in. So that's our trick. Give some leverage. And then that one is. And then we can tie it. Please. Let me get my um this in here. Go ahead, tight it. That's it. And let's go ahead, tight the one on the other side as well. Then let's go look for the torque specs. What's going to be the right proper torque for that for them? All right, guys. So we're going to get the torque spec for this. Let's go to 2006 Mazda Mazda 5 Touring and then let's go to um, Repair then let's go to Rear Camber um, we could probably go to um, Suspension And then rear suspension. Let's go to the rear suspension here. All right, then we're gonna. Here's a diagram for that. We have here. That is a 90 foot pounds. Same thing with the back one. That's 90, about 97 foot pounds. Right here. All right, let's go ahead and torque this. Let's start with the back side. And that's um, 97 foot pounds. Then 
Got a pork crunch here. Set up the 97 foot pounds. Until you hear the click. I still don't hear it. There you go. Did you hear that? That's torqued down already. And let's move on to the other side. The front side. This is not as tight. I believe 91 foot pounds. So let's go here. It's a good light. And then set the torque. Foot pounds. Until you hear the click. There you go. That's nine oh pounds, and we're done. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and put the wheels back, and we're done. Make sure you tighten everything. And one more thing that we need to look at is that knot for the adjustable part. Make sure that's tight. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that. That one, um, I just tightened them already. Make sure that's tight so it doesn't move. Then that's it guys. And that's how you um, replace the rear camber. For a 2006 Mazda 5, this is a Touring, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you to the next video.